Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, my name's Jordan. I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the collective energy of Pisces. Uh, for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign placements of Pisces, or any, any sign placements that you have, you could be cross-watching for Pisces as well. It's a collective message, so feel welcome to watch, even if it's not your Sun sign. Uh, we're going to get right into it. This is a brand new channel. I used to do YouTube all the time. Um, on my older channels, but I deleted them this year because I was done. But I feel like it again. I feel like posting messages and practicing and all of that. So we're going to go at it again. <laughs> so uh, let's see what's going on for Pisces. We have the whale spirit, which says trust in the great mystery. So something that you're doing right now or things you've done in the past might not make sense. Uh, but we are deep, we are deep, uh, unique creatures, us Pisces. And uh, everything we do is, is governed by deep emotions, deep feelings. I mean, we are logical as well, but um, we're, we navigate our waters with intuition, just like the whale does. Ooh, we also have horse spirit, which says freedom is yours. Very powerful, big energy with both these two cards here. Uh, the energy that can move mountains, Pisces. So uh, whatever you want to accomplish or break free from, that is available to you. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Hanged One. Um, career, money in general, or household affairs may be um, on hold right now. You might be in a waiting period, anticipating change. Ooh, we have that Queen of Pentacles again with the death card reversed. So um, something isn't over, something's overdue for a rebirth. Um, you will feel a sense of renewal. You will feel grounded through this process. You're not gonna lose anything during this transformation process. In fact, you're going to gain with this Queen of Pentacles being here. So embrace the change, Pisces. We have Judgment reversed, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. These are all in the current moment. We have the Queen of Cups in the recent past, and in the distant past, we have the Three of Swords. In the future is the Hermit card. My OCD is making me want to rearrange these cards. <laughs> I'm sure you understand, Pisces. Okay, we'll get there. Representing you is the Ten of Swords. Ooh, we've got the Nine and the Ten of Swords right next to each other. Uh, we have the King of Cups reversed. In the environment, we have the other... The, you know, this deck has two of the same cards. The Ten of Swords and the Everything is Fine. So um, that's interesting. I've never seen them come out at the same time. We also have the world card reversed. With the six of swords reversed underneath the bottom of the deck. So we have a king and a queen of cups, Pisces. Uh, you could be either one of them. Um, I typically read for the feminine energy. Uh, but it doesn't have to be. We're in our masculine and feminine energies at either time. Uh, but yeah, we've got lots of painful sword energy. In the past, there's separation, heartbreak, uh, wounding, emotional wounding next to the Queen of Cups. Um, yet, I feel like you toughed it out. I feel like you uh, may have been feeling triggered or consistently um, under some type of, I, I'm just hearing that you are under somebody's spell, Pisces. I'm just going to let it out. 
uh, or maybe they were under your spell, but I feel like you were um, intoxicated with someone's energy at some point. You know, you couldn't get enough of it, even if it was a little bit toxic for you. And um, this person uh, loved you and you loved them. And uh, at some point, um, this relationship uh, reached a climax where there was no going back. There was no, there was no return from uh, events that have happened, conversations that were had. Um, it just feels like there was uh, a breaking point with these two tens of swords here. And, um, and this could be happening right now. This could be fresh energy. For a lot of you, it feels like it's already happened. Um, but even in the current moment, we have Judgment Reverse, which talks about reevaluating, not having a full understanding of a situation. Um, maybe even feeling confused about what to what to feel, what to think, what opinions to have. All I, all I know is, is that for some of you, um, you may have feelings of guilt or maybe your person is feeling, oh my gosh, all these notifications. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, maybe your person is feeling um, agitated at this time. And this energy is kind of being transmitted to you. Um, or maybe you're going to run into somebody from your past if you haven't spoken to this person for a long time. Um, it just feels like the energy is coming to the surface of the judgment card. It's being riled up. Someone is in um, a lot of emotional pain and anxiety and guilt and insecurity. And they want to move on from this. They want to find some type of closure. And, um, you know, this situation, I feel like you've had to break free from it at some point, Pisces, um, or you're in the process of breaking free from it. And... Um, It honestly feels like it's already ended for you. You've already seen its conclusion. You've already reached some type of uh, breaking point. But I feel like you're, the other person needs to reach this breaking point as well. They're not, they, they don't consider the relationship over. They don't consider the relationship to be, um, you know, done, set, you know, dead and done. Um, so they're in denial and I feel like um, obviously this is going to come to a head. Now the Hermit card, you know, in the future signifies the possibility that the answer this person is looking for or the answer that you're looking for, Pisces, whoever is feeling like they need closure, uh, where the other person already has closure, the person who needs closure, I feel like they're not going to get it um, the way that they hope for. I don't see a meeting in these cards. I don't see communication. I don't see an apology. I don't see reconciliation. Um, all I see is that this chapter isn't over and closure is wanting to happen. You can see it right here with these tens, um, with the world card and these tens down here. And the Hermit card indicates that the energy has already been pulled back. Pisces, likely you have pulled your energy back already. And um, it's like a ghosting energy. Like there's no, there's nothing left to say. Um, so this is a great mystery. You know, the there's not going to be a final answer here for somebody. And um, I feel like I'm feeling a sense of panic. Like... Um, like this person is being forced to move in a direction that they didn't feel like they had to move in. I think they felt like they had you as this backup plan and, um, or they, they thought they would, they would just end up going back towards you or something like that. 
Um, but the only direction I can see them heading towards is uh, having to move forward from whatever it is that they are currently involved in. We don't have other cards here like pentacles and wands to see what is going on in this person's life right now on a physical level. We just have cups and swords. So this is all emotional. This is all mental energy. Um, and uh, someone's in turmoil. So uh, this is what I've got for the reading. Um, I think the overall message here, Pisces, is that you are free from this situation, or maybe you are in the process of freeing yourself from the situation, and that is what is recommended here. The Hermit card talks about going within in the future, and the answers that you seek will be found on your own. And this person here, who is kind of looking at on either side of them, any direction they look in right now, they're faced with the reality of the fact that you're just not there. Um, and, uh, they're going to be in search of healing energy through love, through relationships. This person likely wants to rebound as well. Um, so, you know, let them do what they need to do, Pisces. No judgment there at all from me, at least. And, uh. Yeah, so I, I feel like this reading could go a couple ways for some of you out there. You could be the person here who is feeling like forced to move on um, emotionally, or you could be the person who's moved on already. And um, it's hard to say uh, which role you're going to play, Pisces. All right. Um... That's what I've got for your reading, and I'll see you again soon.